In this video, we're going to discuss what are the secrets of comedic spirituality. That's we find peace and blessings. This is Derek Rocco Moore, and um, in this video, we want to talk about um, some. We want to talk about what are the secrets of comedic spirituality. Um, first of all, before I go in here and I begin, you know, I want to go ahead and actually. Um, I want to put something out there. I want to put a disclaimer out there. Um, first of all, let me apologize. Let me go ahead. Let me start over. Let me apologize. Um, I had a couple of videos that I were going to place. You know, it was the holiday weekend. So I went in here and um, all I had to do was kind of just really hit, you know, just edit them. Um, but I was traveling um, and I didn't get a chance to actually edit the videos. And like I said, it was really for a good reason um, because because of me not editing them and i went ahead and i was traveling i didn't get a chance to upload those videos over the weekend and as a result there were some people that went ahead and they hit me up with um a couple of you know there was a couple of concerns a couple of things that they was interested in they wanted me to discuss and that's the reason why those videos were not uploaded so um i decided to let me go in here and let me make up and Let's go ahead and let's do this video on, you know, like I said, the secrets of comedic spirituality. Okay. Now, that being said, um, let me go ahead and let me say as well that, um, and I've always stay, I've always put this disclaimer out there, um, but apparently there were some people, you know, they they didn't hear it. Okay, they didn't hear it. They totally missed it. Um, so let me go ahead and let me put this out there again because, you know, we got people who are new to the channel and I don't, I, I don't want to rub them the wrong way and give them the wrong impression of, uh, uh, of myself, of what comedic spirituality is or, you know, any spiritual path they decide to take. So let me go ahead, first of all, by saying, um, as I've stated before, uh, I've been practicing comedic spirituality for 15 plus years, okay? And I say that um, 15 plus only because I'm not, I don't even count. I just go ahead and I'm just doing it, okay? Um, I've seen various, you know, I've, I've seen various things that have taken place. And the whole purpose of me actually, uh, the whole purpose of us doing the Land of Cam uh, Ancestral Way is really to go ahead and give beginners a some insight into what comedic spirituality is, uh, talk about the beauty of comedic spirituality, but also uh, how to avoid some of the pitfalls when it comes to it. Okay, um, because it is a it is a a, a human a, a, a human made tradition, so there are going to be pitfalls. There's nothing on this, you know, in this terrestrial life that is perfect all right so you're going to have those kind of pitfalls and this is part of the reason why this this channel has been created all right now that being said i do not consider myself to be an authority on comedic spirituality um i don't consider myself to be a the comedic spiritual police meaning that i am not going to be you know if, if someone's going here and they're doing something um, I'm not going to be the one that's going to tell you, oh, okay, well, you know, you're doing what you're doing is wrong. You know, I'm not, I'm not, that's not me. Okay. Um, however, you, you went ahead and you asked me, what's my opinion? I'm still not going to tell you because it's not a matter of my opinion. It's not a matter of if, if, if what I believe or what I don't believe, if it's right or wrong. Okay. That's not how I'm going to approach it. All right. If you went in here and you said, hey, uh, you know, hey, Raku, you know, what, what, you know, what do you think? What's my, you know, what's, you got any suggestions or any of that kind of stuff? Um, I'm going to handle it comedically. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a reading. And I'm going to say, hey, because this is between you and your spirits. This is between you and God, you and you and, you know, the divine, you and your spirits, you and your ancestors. OK, I don't have nothing to do with it. All right. So I want people to kind of understand that. I want people to kind of get a, 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 you know, understand 
how we approach comedic spirituality or how I approach comedic spirituality um, from the individuals and the people in which I've come in contact who've taught me and who've, you know, trained me and who, who've, you know, people I've learned from. OK, and that's this is what this channel is about. All right. Now, part of the reason why comedic spirituality does not have a clear path. And what I mean when I say by a, a clear path, unlike if you were to um, you know, say you want to get into, you want to follow the Arisha path, all right? Um, you would go to a, you know, you, you, there's a certain step. There are certain steps that you follow, okay? You you go and you get, you know, you go and you get your reading. After you get your reading, um, you know, you set up your ancestor altar. After you set up your ancestor altar, after working with that, um, you know, you might go through another set of getting your, you know, divination and what have you. You get your your warriors, you know, um, after you get your warriors, then you, you know, you go through, it's a step-by-step -step process, okay? Comedic spirituality isn't set up like that. And the reason why is because there's no one um, you know, the comedic society doesn't exist anymore. Comedic people um, of old don't exist. And I'm not talking about people who, you know, in this in this age, in contemporary times, who consider themselves or call themselves comedic. I'm talking about people uh, in the ancient times. The, 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 there is no, you can't go to, for instance, like you can go to, um, you can go to Nigeria presently and even speak to, you know, uh, and, and see people who are actually the elders of a Yoruba community who are still there, who are still doing, you know, following these certain, these certain uh, this path that has been laid by their ancestors. You can't do that in comedic spirituality, okay? And and like I said, it's because there are there there's no there's no clear path, all right. So as a result, what most people rely upon are books okay you rely upon history books you rely upon uh any you know uh history books books on comedic philosophy books on comedic thinking the whole deal and a as well as um you know books that deal with religion okay now part of the problem with that is that first of all a lot of the writings that were done, a lot of the writings, a lot of the research and everything that was conducted on the comedic people, um, that was conducted on the comedic society and comedic culture, was by people who, first of all, they, um, you know, by scholars, I should say, that did not have a thorough understanding of a lot of the subjects that the comedic people, um, you know, the comedic sages went ahead here and dealt with. OK, uh, for instance, and what I mean by that, be more specific, they weren't skilled in your, your archaeologists weren't skilled in um, psychology. They didn't have a understanding of metaphysics higher sciences they didn't have an understanding of uh you know they they didn't have this thorough understanding of you know astrology and all these other different sciences and what have you okay they weren't learned like that all right um they were learned in particular subjects particular subjects that related to that one subject and then that was pretty much it so that became one of the, that's the, the one issue that you always start off with when it comes to dealing with comedic spirituality. And this is the reason why when you go in here and you start studying comedic history, you feel, you, you always see people, they'll reference, go in here and study this, study this right here. You got to study the, you know, you got to study comedic medicine or study how the, the comedic people dealt with medicine. You got to study how the comedic people dealt with, uh, you know, chemistry and, and all these other different, you know, uh, subjects. Okay. So that's the first thing you have to go ahead and you have to deal with. You have to understand this is the reason why you go, you have to take this approach. The second reason why comedic spirituality, there's no clear path. And we, we have to take this, you know, this book approach to things 
is because a lot of the information that has been recorded and researched by people who are studying or people who research the comedic culture and comedic society, they it was done or conducted by individuals who were, you know, they were Jewish, Christian, or Muslim. And for the most part, they had, they received financial supporting from those same, you know, same organization or uh, same, you know, groupings or, or backings or what have you. And um, in the process of them going ahead and receiving all this information uh, or receiving this, you know, these monetary funds or whatever, they're going ahead and to assist in their research, they had to dumb down or demonize the comedic culture in order to in order to go in here and you know make their stuff you know make their stuff shine okay so a lot of the information that you receive was very very a lot of information you receive regarding the comedic spirituality or regarding the comedic religion regarding uh the comedic uh anything dealing with any with the comedic culture a lot of that pre-information was very, very biased. Okay, it was just it was biased, right? Um, that's why to this day, you'll still find authors that would keep saying, "Well, you know, the comedic people they worship gods," but the same concept, the exact same concept, where the ancient Hebrews went in here and they borrowed it from the comedic people is used by the, 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 the Hebrew people. Okay? It's used by the ancient Hebrew people. They have, uh, you know, and all it takes is for, and, 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 <laughs> and the thing that amazes me about it is that I remember the first time I went in here and I came across this. All right? If you go in and you study, you'll find that they have, you know, you'll see, for instance, you do a comparative, uh, a comparative understanding of, your, of the religions. If you went in here and you looked at, like I said, you look at the, the ancient Hebrew religion, you'll see they'll have El as God. Then it's El Shaddai, El Shalom, um, uh, uh, what is it, Elohim. All these different attributes, all these different terms for God, which is the exact same thing that they did in Kemet. Okay, so how is it that archaeologists were not able to go in here and distinguish the two? How were they not able to go in here, or not so much distinguish, but how were they not able to go in here and say, uh, okay, well, they're doing the exact same thing that these people did. How is it that they're not able to do it? It's because they chose not to. Okay, and that's what, I, and, and and this is what we're talking about. This is the biasness that exists. And like I said, once you go in here and you 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 understand that, then it becomes fairly easy to comprehend or really introduce yourself into comedic spirituality to embrace comedic spirituality. Okay, now once we get over those two hurdles. Once we get over those two things, we get over those two hurdles in regards to um, how you're approaching comedic spirituality from this intellectual perspective, okay? And you 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 understand that you're you're interpreting this or you're reading it and, and getting this from someone else who's interpreting from a foreign individual. And I'm not saying foreign in a sense that you know in a, in a wrong sense, but I'm saying they're alien to the culture. They're alien to the way of life. Once you go in here and you get that and, and you understand that this is where most of this information is going to come from, then you come to a point where this is why you study, you, you have to study the comedic history, you have to study the comedic metaphysics or comedic science, and then you study the comedic, um, you study the comedic theology. But then this is where you also have to incorporate science, you have to incorporate psychology. OK, now the basis of what I have found that comedic spirituality deals with the, the basis of it, the, the most simplest understanding of it is it basically takes your it basically takes the human mind and it will from a from an ancient comedic perspective, it it. it, it for the most part, it goes in here and it takes the human mind. 
and it makes a comparison and says the mind, your mind and the universe are basically one and the same. Okay. Now, you don't even have to go through all the Kabbalion. You don't have to go through all the, the laws or the principles of, you know, of Hermes in order for you to, or Jehuti in order for you to go ahead and to really understand what that means. You can start off with the first principle, which is that the universe is mental. Understanding that the universe is mental means that, okay, everything that basically you're doing, everything that you see is a manifestation of your reality. Okay, your reality is a manifestation of your thoughts. You are the creator of your reality. Now, the secret to understanding kinetic spirituality is the fact that, first of all, they didn't go through this whole thing of trying to understand why it happens. Yeah, there's a part that went through that. There's an actual group uh, of, of, you know, priests and, and priestesses that actually try to understand it. But for the most part, in order for you to understand how comedic spirituality or any spirituality works, it's the, it's the fact of understanding that there is a part of our universe that is limited, that is visible, that is understandable. You can understand it from an intellectual perspective, from a scientific perspective, using all your five senses. But there's another part of the universe that you cannot, it, it's just illogical. Okay, it is totally abstract. It does not. Uh, uh, it, it it doesn't add up from a logical perspective. Okay, and this is the basis of comedic spirituality. The fact that they are, they accepted that they understood that, and they was able to work with that. Now, sure, they went ahead and they compartment or compartmentalized uh, certain aspects of that unlimited aspect of the universe. They, 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 you know, like I said, they, they, they codified it. Okay. Um, and, and, but, and this is what other cultures, or let me rephrase, this is what, um, a lot of our, uh, our ancestral or a lot of our ancestors, you know, from other cultures, you know, other African cultures, they went here and they kept it, they, they got the rituals and everything, but comedic spirituality is so the, the secret to understanding it is understanding the fact that um, the reason why they went through this, the reason why the, the ancient ancestors or the ancient comedic people, they went through this is so that things did not degrade and revert to what a lot of the things are going on right now. Okay. So what's going on right now? What's going on right now is that you can go in here and you can get a book on comedic spirituality and You'll read this book and it tells you, well, the ancient Egyptians did this, this, this. The ancient Egyptians did this, this, and this, and this. The ancient Egyptians did this, this, and this. Okay? It's not telling you how to practice comedic spirituality. It's just telling you this is what they did thousands and thousands of years ago. Okay? So, what ends up happening is, instead of you going ahead and learning how to go within, work your own spirit, work the universe around you in other words in order in, in order for you in other in, instead of you going in here and learning how to become a a you know the definition of a true ancestor the definition or become a god or goddess okay you're basically mimicking what someone has done what somebody or some you know some other group has done and when i went ahead and i said that Kemetic spirituality is not metaphysics. It's not uh, about learning about the sciences. It's not about any of that. Kemetic spirituality is when you get into the point where you've gone ahead and you are interacting your your you know your your mind with the universe as one, where you see no separation unless you go ahead and declare the separation. That's what comedic spirituality is. Okay? Now, I've given this example. I've told people this before. When I went ahead and my wife and I, we wanted to have, you know, wanted to have a child. I went ahead and I was like, well, you know, I got to go through, you know, anybody will tell you? Anybody knows? Who, who's the who's the nature that deals with pregnancy? Okay? 
if you say all set, then my question is, who told you that? If you say it's Nephet or you say it's Heteru, who told you that? How do you know that these are the these are the netters that deal with pregnancy? How do we know that? Okay? And this is where we get this is the, the bridge that I was trying to get people to understand. This is how you cross into comedic spirituality. Because there's a difference between believing and knowing. All right? So when my wife and I went ahead, we wanted to have a child. It was my wife who didn't, who, who, who doesn't study comedic spirituality, who didn't study, uh, you know, and I'm not putting her down or anything, but I'm saying she didn't study. She didn't have all this book information, right? She basically went ahead and was like, hey, you know what? In order for me to go ahead and to, I want to, I want to have a child, you know, I want want us to go ahead and have a child. I'm going to go talk to Bess. And if you look, Bess is nowhere on the the is, is nowhere on the totem pole in regards to the nature that you're supposed to deal with. However, if you go in here and you do a little bit of study, do a little bit of research, you'll find out that Bess dealt with fertility and a host of other female issues. Okay? So how are how are we able to go in here and have a child through Bess? That was a knowing. That was a spiritual thing. And this was the point that I was getting at. Okay. I wasn't telling people that you cannot, you you know, you're not being spiritual because you're going here and you're you're intellectualizing everything. No, I was telling you that because of you intellectualizing things, you're cutting things short. You're, you're, you're missing, you're, you're missing 90% of what comedic spirituality deals with because you're focusing on what someone else does or what someone else wrote about in regards to what comedic spirituality is okay because the 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 one beauty and I, i'm going ahead and i'm going to bring this to a close but the one beauty to uh one of the beauties of comedic spirituality is that because it ties the comedic people the comedic culture it, it was all throughout Africa, okay? It was all throughout the continent of Africa. And because they interacted and encountered so many cultures throughout the continent, okay? Um, And so many people were, uh, you know, their culture was intertwined with them by some, you know, for some reason or by some means or whatever. Because of all of that, when you get back into comedic spirituality, especially as a person of African descent, your ancestors start coming through a lot stronger for some reason. Okay? Um, this is how I was able to go in here and make a connection with the Congo people. Okay, and, and 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 still trying to go in here and bridge a gap and make a connection with contemporary people who are, you know, who are from in the Congo um, region right now. Okay, that's an ancestral connection. All right. Now there's other people who will go in here and they'll tell you they're coming through. You know, they'll go through the Yoruba perspective. Okay. Again, this is not nothing to knock or any of that kind of stuff. It's just basically, you know, and it's not a put down, but it's just, it goes to show how diverse and connected, interconnected all of it was. All right. So, like I said, I just wanted to go in here and I wanted to put that out there. I want people to also understand, you know, uh, (laughs) you know, get it right. Because I know a lot of people, you know, in this day and age, people get butt hurt. Real easy. Oh, well, you went ahead and you were talking about this or you didn't mention this. You know, if you need my, and like I, I've said before, if you need me to justify or verify something or, or for that matter, anybody, then, you know, this is not really for you. You, you might want to go ahead and do some more, do some more homework or so before you go ahead and you get into this because uh, that's not what it's about. This is not a religion. Okay. 
and, and and I feel a lot of times so many people they're they're always they, they they leave the church or they leave the temple or the kingdom hall and they try to superimpose their religion on comedic spirituality and be, just because just because there was a connection just because you know hey well you know Jesus was once Osir or or they they drew Jesus from Osir or drew Jesus from Haru and and, and, and it's like, okay, so what they did that, that doesn't mean that's how you interact with it. Doesn't mean that, that it's going to work that way. Okay. So again, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and I wanted to share that. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Um, if you got any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, go ahead and drop me a line. Also, um, people have been asking, you know, hey, you know, when you going to come up with these courses? Um, there is a survey that I have, have I've included in the comment section um, so that you can go in here and um, to kind of get some insight on what kind of courses that you're looking for. OK, because uh, some of these courses, I think, you know, it, 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 they would be very beneficial. Um, but I think, you know, like I said, we want to go in here. We wanted to make sure that we're, we're, we're doing something that's going to be of service to the community. Okay, not just doing something just to be doing it. Okay, um, so anyway, like I said, hopefully that helped. Um, if you got any questions, suggestions, and comments, as I stated before, um, you know, drop me a line. Until next time, people. Until next time, family. All right, Hachapu, peace. Yeah.